with clergy. Welcome to this week's episode of Cruising with Clergy. This week is National Vocations Awareness Week, so I thought what a great opportunity to catch up with our third year seminarian, Will Brennan. Will, welcome to Cruising with Clergy. Thank you, Neil. Good to be here. Excellent, excellent. Um, how have you found your th- first three years of formation at the Holy Spirit Seminary in, in Brisbane? Uh, it, it's been an adventure, I think, for sure. It, it's it's had its ups and downs, its blessings and its challenges, but um, you know, all in all, it, it's been such a blessing. And there's for me, it's been this great sense of sort of peace and and direction, I guess, for me. Um, you know, and and I've just you know I've learnt so much, had so much fun, you know, met so many people. It's just been this amazing time in my life um, and an amazing time of growth as well for me. I've learnt so much about myself and and how to help others. Fantastic. Cast your mind back three years or further, what was that moment that allowed you the, the direction, I suppose, to accept that call to enter the seminary um, to priesthood? Well, it's a, a bit by chance, like providence, I guess. Um, so I finished school in Toowoomba. My family moved down there when I was 15. So, uh, and I was at a diocesan chrism mass in Toowoomba, and I just happened to meet the two at the time the two Toowoomba seminarians. Um, and it was actually really nice, you know, being able to chat to them. And and it I, nothing really came up of too much substance, but seeing them and and speaking to them, I guess really put it as a concrete possibility for me as it had been something that I'd been, I guess had been in the back of my mind for quite a long time. Towards the end of that year in August when I was in year 12, I got invited to attend a Quo Vadis weekend, which is a, a weekend that the seminary hosts every year in August for, for men who are considering the priesthood and so you go and you spend a, a weekend at the seminary, you meet the seminarians, you do a few sessions on discernment and on the priesthood and it was there that I found out about a place called Canali House. So I finished school and I moved to Brisbane and, and I lived in that house for a year and with other men, young men who were also th- having the same thoughts as I was, who were thinking about the priesthood and so I lived in community with them, I worked full time and through that process, through the Canali House discernment process, for me it it became a bit more of a certainty that I I did want to to give this a go. What advice would you give to a young person who may still be at school or may have worked for a period of time but is learning about themselves and learning about what God's call is for them. What would be your advice to them? Oh, I th- I, everybody's different. I think that's important that um, you know your your discernment journey won't be the same as as someone else, as an idol or or as a friend. Uh, but I think it's important that you do actually seriously think about what God is calling you and to sort of say, well. You know, why am I here? What what can I do with my life? You, you've got to take a few leaps of faith as well. It's you're not going to be sure, um, <laughs> and and that's particularly with the seminary and and I'd imagine with married couples as well. There's not you don't wait until that you're a hundred percent sure that it's gonna be. You've got to do this. There's a time of discernment even after you make that initial decision. So that's, that's fantastic advice for, for young people. Um, cruising with clergy, we uh, listen to a track or a hymn. What would be your favorite hymn or track? I don't know, I've, I've got so many favorites. Um, <laughs> I, I guess the one, one that I always enjoy, I doubt you'd have it, but- um, You never know. <laughs> Well, I, I do quite like a Toccata and Fugue in D minor by well, Bach. The eclectic person, <laughs> I do have it. Very nice. <laughs> Why that? I don't know, just, it sounds good. It's a nice, grandiose sort of, just out of the ordinary. It's not something that you hear every day and, and it just sounds great. Excellent, William. Great to have you. Great. Uh, thanks for joining us with Cruising with Persian. Thanks very much, Neil.